Yeah, so I've built this foiling vessel and the hull itself is made from just like building foam that's welded together and inflated and in the tips I've just curled it back like a dry bag or whatever. So it's actually quite water uh, airproof, doesn't lose any air. The uh, triangular shape is because if the vessel should actually capsize completely then the electronics won't be submerged in the water. It has double T foils, and those are the ones doing all the um, all the balancing in the water. If I just turn on the active control, we can see that if if the vessel is about to fall to its right, then it will try to steer the foil under itself, just like the front wheel of a bike. The depth in the water is controlled by the angle of attack of the front foil. So you can see here if I, if the water level is up by the stick or the stick is being pushed up by the water level, the angle of attack increase and if the stick comes down the, it, the angle decrease. These are all just uh, PID control loops. Um, the same with the rear file. We can see that if the that's looking at the overall uh, attitude of the vessel in the in the water, and just keep keeping a horizontal. Um, so the rear file is kind of easy. It's like following, but still it it is controlled. Um, just so the vessel is horizontal in the when it's over when it's up foiling. Um, yeah, then it has this this uh, little propeller that's driven by a BLDC motor uh, that I've put in a tube to make it sh make sure it's waterproof. The computer is a uh, is a Teensy with an IMU. It's called the Prop Shield, and it uh, has a very fast update. I would say um, I'm reducing the control algorithms to what is it like 100 hertz. 